Hey guys, um, I know I haven't created a tutorial in a while, but that's because I've been caught up with schoolwork and summer programs, because I'm going into my senior year of high school. So, anyway, um, I'm just going to show you basically the basics of rigging. Uh, so, I created this cat here, and I'm just going to show you how to rig it so you can animate it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to here, click on animation, and I'm just going to get into wireframe mode and also my four panel view by hitting space. Um, to get into wireframe, just hit the four key. So I'm going to zoom out each of these, and I'm going to go up to the top here where it says skeleton and click on joint tool. Now I'm going to start with my side view here. and. I'm just going to place a few points down. I'll start with the in the center of the cat and I'm going to work my way up to the head. Um, however many joints you place depends on what you're rigging. So I'm just going to place that many for now and I'm going to just hit the enter key. Now I'm going to go back to my joint tool. You can just hit G to uh, reuse the previous tool you were using. So now I'm going to start with the back side of the cat. I'm just going to place my joints carefully. Sorry. Alright, now you notice these are disconnected from each other. Um, all you have to do is click on this one and then shift select this one and hit the P key. That'll parent them together. So now we have those placed. Now I'm going to work on the legs. So I'm just going to go back to my joint tool or hit the G key. And I'm going to start down here and work my way down to the paws. Alright, and hit enter. And now I'm going to create my other legs. My hind legs. And just hit enter. Alright, so now I'm going to link them both to the main body frame. By, sorry I did it wrong. Hitting, shift selecting this one, shift selecting this one, and hitting the P key. That'll parent them. Alright, so now if you zoom out, you'll see that these are in the center, which you probably want them on two separate legs. So we're just going to move these over a bit. We can go back to our front view and we could put them into place. Yep, I got the right one selected. Actually, I'll probably be better off moving them together. So I'll just undo that. Just move them over here, put them into place, and now you're probably wondering how we're going to get these to the other side. Now you can copy and paste them and reparent them, but there's actually an easier way. You can just go up to the top here where it says skeleton and go to the mirror joint tool. And for mine, mine's going to be mirrored across the Y and Z. So I'm just going to mirror that. Well, first I'll have to deselect one of them. So I'll just mirror that. And it'll show up on the other side. Make sure your object is centered whatever you're working with and actually before I do that I'm just going to show you about the IK handle tool it's a pretty neat tool actually um, so the IK handle tool it works well with like legs and stuff I'll show you how it works just select the top joint of the leg and the bottom it's pretty simple actually and you notice how it'll bend like real leg. It's neat. Not much to know about it. 
I'm just going to apply that to the back leg as well. So all you got to do is click two separate joints. Yeah, mine just got deleted. Just for you to enter that. Alright, so now we should probably mirror them. So just go up to the top here, mirror the joints. And... Now we're pretty much all set. Now you're probably wondering how I'm going to attach this to the animal. It's pretty simple actually. I'm just going to teach you a basic way. There's many ways you can do this. But you basically just have to select the joints you placed and shift select whatever object you want to uh, rig. And now you, all you have to do is go up to the top here, skin, bind skin, and smooth bind. So now all these joints are connected and you notice if you pull them around it'll affect what the cat does so it's pretty neat just a simple way of binding thing rigging things sorry um i'll probably be creating some more tutorials this summer hopefully but yeah that's a little messed up so if you have any suggestions or anything just subscribe, message me, whatever. Uh, th thanks for watching.